Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro down at ice level, my name is James Sabalski. A lot of excitement going into this one here, just moments away from puck drop. Ray Ferraro between the two benches. What do you expect tonight? The generation of offense is going to be really interesting to watch. Both teams like to get their defense up into the rush, and really, you're going to play a little bit of a risky game if you can score more often. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Sharks start with possession as we are now underway. Moves it to Marlowe. Marlowe's got it against the boards. Stays with it. Knocked away. Tampa Bay is looking to break out of their own end. Picked up along the boards by Fedotenko. Puck picked up by St. Louis. And that caroms right off the mask. Huge steal in his own end. Trying to shake loose. He's clear. What a save on the play. Feeds it over to Fedotenko. They've got numbers. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Couture's got it on the offensive end. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's an odd man rush. Too much congestion in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Nichols wins the draw on their own end. Here they come on the attack. And moves the puck into a high-pressure situation. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Puck scooped up by a coin. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And now it's over to Taylor with the steal. The Lightning have taken to the offensive attack. Chance on the deflection, turns it away. Larionov's won the faceoff. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Solid hit on that play. And the officials stop the play as the puck heads off the ice. Graves went slowly back towards the bench after taking a huge hit. Clean hit. And that's really done some damage. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes it across the blue line. Puts it up front. Snaps it on net. Oh, what a glove save. Goalie sharp to make that stop. Here they are on the attack. And not much on that one. Great reflexes. Another save. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, did he steamroll over top of him there, Seaball. Look out. That was a freight train on that one. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Puck grabbed by Primo. Dumps it in. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck sent over to Savard. Along the half wall with the puck. Move to the middle! And now it's grabbed by a coin. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Slides it across to Thornton. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it against the wall. Picks it off, they go back on the attack. Way too much congestion blocks that. Pass across to Taylor. Winding down the final. It's in the back of the net, he scores! That shot just overpowers the goaltender. He gets a little piece of it, but he can't stop it.
Tampa Bay's taken the lead here in the late goings of this first period. Pretty even first period. Now they've got the jump. You want to get into the intermission ahead. Puck picked up in the open ice. By number 27, Tim Taylor, assistant. Taken by Anderchuk. And by number six. Rips it and rips it! Big time stop there. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Coaches always say, James, don't try to make something out of nothing. In the lead, you've got to make the safe play. That's all she wrote on the first period of play as the horn sounds. Just a lone goal is the difference so far as we conclude the first frame. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Second period set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Kiprasov's had lots of pad taps in that first period, James. I don't know what the score might look like if he wasn't so good. Oh, wow. Here comes the response. You can't do that. You cannot shoot the puck after the whistle and expect that nobody's going to get grumpy. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. All right, boys, that's enough. Over to the penalty box and go sit down. The Bolts continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a stop! San Jose's got the puck. Gloves are off. We got a challenge. And here we go. Yeah, this one was uh, to be expected. After the player got hurt, you would hope his teammate would jump in and try and defend him. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Wow, it was a pretty good tilt. I would say the energy in the building's gonna sag a little bit here. Their guy didn't do so well. Tampa Bay's been the more aggressive team offensively and they continue to lead here in the second. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Takes the feet at the back end. Lays into the body on the play. Denied by the goaltender. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck. To force the bodies in front of him. Drills them. The Lightning have gained control of the puck in their own zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes the feed. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's the pass. Oh, what a save in front. Sails over the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't. Look out. Lays into the body. They're going to go. Yeah, he's not going to have a choice here. He's been running around a little bit, been getting a little chippy, and now he's going to have to drop the mitts and answer for it. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. The Bolts have given their fans something more to cheer about. That fight has energized the building.
Tampa Bay's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. And now he tries to get it across to McLean. And he gets the puck right back. Gets that puck back on a stick. Quick feed to Larianov. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. And there's the whistle. Icing is the call, which I gotta say is like almost the equivalent of a tie. Who likes icing? It might be the most boring play in hockey, but you get an offensive zone faceoff. Hey, there's a victory. Tampa Bay's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Puts it towards the net, takes it right in the chest. Picked off, tried to be too cute on the pass. San Jose's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. Now over to Fedotenko. Here's a chance to his teammate. Stopped by the goaltender. Hey, usually the whistle is going to stop the play. I guess not tonight. Fedotenko's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Savard's not letting anybody off the hook. Straight up against the wall, and he throws a heavy hit. Tampa Bay's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Centering pass! Nice poke check. Hangs onto the puck. Thornton's carrying it ahead. He says, let's get physical on that play. Carries the puck up through center. They've got numbers. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Tampa Bay's not taking their foot off the pedal. They've been aggressive this entire period, and they're controlling the play and have the lead. The Bolts continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Marchman's and he's going after him here. Some pushing and shoving here, heating up. Yeah, the few words lead to him. He's going to get the pushback. Well, he might not want to go here, but his teammate's going to jump in and fight for him. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Shillebeck to clean things up. Not much doubt who the winner is of this fight. Watch it, and now listen. And the crowd back alive here inside the stadium. Here in the late goings of the period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And the officials waving off icing here. San Jose's got the puck now. Pushes it across to Nolan. Strong defensive effort. Puck picked up by Taylor. And he sends it across to Bellows. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Whoa. And he scores! What a shot! If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. The Lightning have now doubled their lead to 2-0 here in the second. What are you seeing between the benches? I'm seeing a team that has been pretty good all over the ice. Aggressive, up the ice with their defense. Lots of shots on goal. They've deserved this lead. Sends a pass over. Gets a stick on it. He scores! Well, now they can go into this intermission, James. They gotta feel great about themselves. They tally so late in this period. He made a big move here on this shot, but there's so much traffic, James. I think he's better off just trying to drop into the butterfly and spread out as best as he can. San Jose's 
got a chance to change the complexion of this game now with that one. Yeah, get one now, they're within one. Don't take a step back. Push forward. Look for the equalizer. Logan Couture assisted by number 11, Owen Nolan, and by number 19, Joe Thornton. Time of the goal, 19 minutes. Tampa Bay's generated a lot of quality scoring chances, which is why they lead here late in the second. And that'll do it for period number two. 2-1 is where things sit after 40 minutes. When your team wins, you win $10 off head bombs. Bring the nice ticket to any local bomb sporting goods. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. for the rest of the evening. This will leave a hole in their lineup. He will not return. That will certainly force some line juggling here going forward. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? San Jose's got to find some energy here. The game's close, but they haven't had very many shots on goal. You're not going to score like that. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shot, he scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. You can see the goaltender's looking a little frustrated here. He got a little piece of this shot. Not enough, it goes into the net. The Sharks are gonna have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Le Cavalier's won the draw. Sends the pass over. Good hit. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Here comes the pushback. He just... And a challenge being thrown. And here we go. Jill Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. I'm not so sure how everybody feels about fighting anymore, but the people that are here seem to like what they just saw. then you're not, you reach out, you trip them up, and there's no way to get out of it now. San Jose's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Key for any team on the power play is to get control of the puck first, so we'll look at the face-off, and this power play at the very least has to generate a little momentum. It's their first crack at it tonight. Cross carries the puck in his own zone, and he passes it up ahead to Savard. Ahead of steam now towards the front. That one's off the blocker. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. 
and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Gets in front of it. Yeah, he does a nice job here finding the puck as it works its way through. He's got to pick it up somewhere amongst all that traffic. Here he is, shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease, aggressively to make the save. Tested there, but rose to the challenge. Nice pass. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Officials stop the play finally, allowing the injured player to get off the ice. Nichols is going to take some attention from the therapist as it looks like he's banged up after this huge hit. Nichols has been banged up here, and a lower body injury will take him out of the game. You see him headed back down the tunnel towards the locker room. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Handles the puck. Couture's going to play it against the half wall. He scores! They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat... third period. Well, you don't have much breathing room, but I guess it's better to be in front than behind. They'll want to continue to try to forecheck. Moves it quickly over to Couture. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Let's it fly. On the doorstep, backhander comes up with the stop. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. San Jose's game possession along the boards. Carries it across the line. Quick pass to Aya Frady. Pass right in front. Cute. He scores. That's three on the road. I can't imagine too many hats being tossed, though, here. No, there's not going to be. I mean, this is a terrific game for him. He's got three. And you're right, on the road, nobody's throwing their bucket. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. The Sharks extend their lead here in the home stretch of this one, Ray. You'd like to think that you're in great shape here, but one mistake makes this a one-goal game again. They still have to stay aggressive. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Andrichuk. Puck scooped up by Taylor. Thornton's got the puck through the neutral zone. All alone! A close game, and he's able to make that stop, James. Remember that as this game rolls to its conclusion. San Jose is going to have to finish up tonight's game one skater short. Their injured player will not return. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. Well, that certainly changes things now. Yes, it does. A little rock'em, sock'em on the play. Unleashes a cannon! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And tries to make a diagonal Whoa. pass to Thornton. It's a great way to protect the lead. Get it deep into the offensive zone and try and run around on the forecheck a little bit. Kill the clock when you can. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Tampa Bay's ready to go on the attack. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Rocked them in the open ice. Shot with the stop. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Here in the late going of the frame, it's 4-2. Larry Otov's won it off the faceoff. Nice punch check inside the attacking zone. From off the boards, takes the feed inside the zone. Good check, frees the puck up. Blocked in front. And he makes the easy save. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. And he gets pummeled. He tried to protect himself by getting his stick up, but he didn't get it up far enough. It got rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Puck grabbed by Nolan. Brings up trying to shake the defender. Whoa. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net.
Matt, if you've watched the game, you've seen this play so many times. How many times does it happen? A great opportunity on one end, the puck turns around, and moments later, it's in the other net. Tampa Bay's offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number 11, Owen Nolan. And there's the save. The Bolts are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Thornton's won it in their own end. Hannon's got it in the defensive end. Lots of fly with the stop. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. I can't even imagine what the message will be from the coaching staff after this one when you let a lead get away and then let it run wild away. This is one where the coach doesn't even go in the locker room after the game. There's really nothing to say. They played a really poor third period. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James. Good night.